Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. During this spot report, I want to introduce you to a new feature of the Jerusalem Connection. It will occur and will appear on our Friday e-newsletter every week. It will be a video by Amy Rofail. Amy is a university professor at the American Military University. Uh, she holds a master's degree in humanities with emphasis on political science. She's done a master's thesis on human rights in the modern state of Israel. She's a lover of Israel, and she's a lover of this ministry, and we're honored, we're pleased that she's a part of our team. She's going to be featured on what we call the Red Alert. And this, we feel, is an important alert with regard to anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism uh, that's growing worldwide, it's seen in, especially in secular universities uh, here in the United States. Uh, <clears throat> Prime Minister Netanyahu has said that uh, uh, anti-Semitism in Europe, particularly in France, Great Britain, the Netherlands, is comparable to that which was growing in the 1930s in Europe. What do we mean by anti-Semitism? Uh, let me use uh, Natan Sharansky's definition. He is a former Russian dissident. He has the Jewish agency. And he's given what he calls the 3D test of uh, current new anti-Semitism. There was a time when anti-Semitism was directed against Jews and their religion. It's directed now against the state of Israel, anti-Israel or Zion, anti-Zionism. This is what he says. The first D is the test of demonization. When the Jewish state is being demonized, when Israel's actions are blown out of sense of all sensible proportion, when comparisons are made between Israelis and the Nazis, between Palestinian refugee camps and Auschwitz, that's not a con uh, comparison, that's a contrast. This is anti-Semitism, not legitimate criticism of Israel. Demonization, number one. Number two, second test is the test of double standards. When criticism of Israel is applied selectively, when Israel is singled out by the United Nations, for example, for human rights abuses while the behavior of known and major abusers such as China, Iran, Cuba, Syria, and certainly all the jihadist states uh, or entities, I should say, when these are ignored, when Israel's Magen David Adom, alone among the World Ambulance Services, is denied admission to the International Red Cross, this is anti-Semitism, double standard, demonization and double standard. The third D is delegitimization. This takes place when Israel's fundamental right to exist is denied, along, uh, alone among all peoples in the world. This is anti-Semitism. Israel's right to exist is denied. They want to be wiped off the map, and it's acceptable for that. Uh, one of the focuses that we want to uh, direct our attention to is the BDS movement, the Boycott, Divest, and Sanctions movement. It's prevalent, it's rampant on the university, secular university campuses. Wikipedia defines it as, as a global movement attempting to increase economic and political pressure on Israel to comply with the stated goals of the movement, which they say, number one, is Israeli occupation, namely Israel is occupying Palestinian territory. <laughs> the colonization of a Palestinian land, they want to decolonize it, and that means no two-state solution, actually. Just one state, a Palestinian state, with the el elimination of the modern state of Israel. The full equality for Arab Palestinian citizens of Israel and respect for the right of return of Palestinian refugees. That's the BDS movement. I like what the Prime Minister of Spain, a strong supporter of Israel, has said, Prime Minister Jose Maria Aznar. <clears throat> he said, I think BDS is an unfair discriminatory movement based on a moral double standard that is in the final analysis, anti-Semitic. He says, declaring its aim to put pressure on Israel, on the Israeli government, BDS is in fact trying to harm every Israeli citizen, not only the government, in reality, and this is important. What BDS wants is to make life in Israel intolerable so that the Jewish nation will not be able to have a normal existence in its own state. BDS does not only want to change the government's policy, it wants to empty 
the country of Jews. I think that's an accurate statement. It wants to empty the country of the Jews. One writer for the magazine Economist says, to push, boycott, divest, and sanction Israeli companies has limited impact on the credit profile of Israel, and yet it directly harms its intended beneficiary, namely the Palestinians. The BDS movement, including universities, prison funds, and leaders of some Christian denominations, yes, Presbyterian Church USA, United Methodist Church, the Episcopal Church, United Church of Christ, United Church of Canada, these all have uh, resolutions, uh, one way or another, to uh, come against Israel, to sanction Israel. But it, it, it ignores economic data, and it, can, it coincides with the disturbing rise of violent anti-Semitism across Europe. So that's what we're facing, and that's what we want to expose. That's what God's people need to know and understand, that this is going on, it's prevalent, it's growing, and it needs to be addressed, it needs to be confronted. And that's what we intend to do with our red alert under the able hand of Amy Raphael. Don't miss it. Sign up for it. If you don't have it, go to our, our website, thejerusalemconnection.us, and sign up for our e-newsletter. You can get it free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Till next week, Od Ki Shilo, or until Messiah comes, Yivarecha Yahweh. Yahweh bless you. Yahweh bless you, those you love, and those who love you. Mm -hmm.